So one of the things that I know I really appreciate is the station rotation model. The first time you're gonna do it, it's a little scary, but when you see it work, it works really good. Start it as early as you can. At the beginning of the year, I have all these different activities for them to do, which as a whole class, I'm not able to help. I really wanna be hands-on with a few of the kids. So what I do is I begin that station rotation model. I have a station where they're filling out a Google form where we're going through and I'm collecting that information. I recorded a video on how to get access to your textbook. That's a second station and they're able to do that independently because I've worked through the directions with them. If you have a team teacher, that may be a place where you're able to put that team teacher in that section. The third station is a, okay, we're gonna set up our interactive notebooks, and that way I'm able to monitor and know that, boom, when those kids leave that station and it's done correctly, and I'm able to monitor that station. Another station is, I wanna know where they are in geography. So I give them a pretest on world geography and they're at that station and I make sure that each station lasts maybe 15 minutes at most. My last station is usually some type of reading station or I have some other activity. And what I do is one of the ways that I find station rotation works is I have a timer tool that I have on the board and I've told the kids, here's the rotation, here's the order. And then when the timer goes, they switch to the different station because remember, I'm at a station, but it allows me to work one-on-one -on -one with kids and they're able to work independently. And the kids do it. Some things that I go through with them first is my room is organized into tables and I have them stay with their table groups for that activity. Other times I'll have the kids get into their table groups then explain the stations and then begin the movement when I'm using a station rotation. But I have a timer that shows 15 minutes and I find the kids work better with a timer in the background and then when the bell rings, they rotate to the next station. I will say station rotation works really well if you have team teachers. I've done it with and without, but I know we like to co-teach and this is a very, very effective way. And I like to start early with the station rotation to begin to train the kids. And that's a low risk activity. It's not taking a lot of thought because it's general activities so that they're learning the procedure in a low risk environment without having to worry about academic difficulties because they can all do each of those stations independently. And then as the year goes on and I make the station's academic focus, I keep that in mind.